Hi friends, today I would like to tell you something about my clinical and research experience with ultrasynthesis of the temporomandibular joint. Everything in my career started in 2005 when I first met my close friend Luca Guardanardini in Padova. At that time, ultrasynthesis was performed just to uh, try to unlock the mandible when a patient experienced closer lock. And the technique was based on the use of a double needle, one for the inflow and one for the outflow of the fluid. Luca came up with a great idea, which was to introduce the arthrosynthesis also in the field of the arthritis of the temporomandibular joint. So, Basically, dating back to 2007, we amounted an incredible number of researches to try to investigate for the possible uh, indications and the possible best protocols uh, for the treatment of TMJ arthritis at an individual level. But more important than that, Luca should be also credited for inventing the single needle technique which provided the use of a single needle to inflow and to achieve the outflow of the fluid from the temporomandibular joint cavity. Over these 13 years or so I have learned that TMJ arthrosynthesis is a potentially useful technique but I admit that the, the selection of the patient is critical to understand that uh, TMJ arthrosynthesis is one of the very few uh, specific options uh, in the armamentary of, of the temporomandibular disorder practitioner. We have learned that, uh, for instance, the combination of arthrosynthesis and hyaluronic acid of, or cortisone is more effective than arthrosynthesis alone. We have learned that uh, people aged over 60 who are those interested by the true arthrosis are the most uh, uh, potentially benefiting from the use of arthrosynthesis. We have learned that uh, hyaluronic acid of medium or low molecular weight are more interesting for use with respect to high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. But I think that there are much many other uh, uh, aspects to be deepened over the next uh, years and importantly you should be aware of the fact that the psychosocial issues when you deal with patients with pain are extremely important also when you have to select the best possible candidates for a mini invasive approach like TMJ atrocentis. In the end, to get you a summary, I really enjoy practicing this technique. Bye bye.